Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Chinese Repub nationalist episode. So, let's just continue where we left off. I'm not gonna bother saying anything. Hmm, oh, I got a doctrine available. Alright, so... Expand military commissions. Our military has shown a shock, a shocking lack of competence. Reforming the high command is the first place step to rectify our issue. Mm -hmm. And it's a good thing too because of the fact we also have like the southern border of before a new ga Gongji clique. I am for any people that are watching this in Chinese. I am sorry if I did botch the names, but. Uh, Look, I'm just trying my be my best to spell these names correctly. Like, like it's. Hmm. Oh, an anarchist uprising in Spain. Oh boy, this is gonna be some crazy shizzle. Well, nationalist Spain seems like they're already doing just fine anyway. But I could improve with them. National. Oh, I'm still. Okay, let's see. Oh. Relations with the US is by 81. Nice. What about British Raj? Oh yeah, I already cancelled British Raj's uh Oh yeah. Also, I know that British Raj is gonna be annexed by the United Kingdom directly, which to be honest, I think it should have been easier if British Raj was like gaining autonomy rather than getting subjected autonomy. It, 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 to me, it just doesn't make any sense. But anyway, we're already in April of 1937, so I know I have to pick up the pace. to have at least more than 99 army experience and has completed the focus army reform. <laughs> Military Affairs Commission. Well, Sing Kang being part of a common turn, that is really, really surprising. But I'm not sure how me trying to unite China. The, Hind the Hindenburg incident. Disaster was nearly averted today when a diesel fuel leak was discovered on the German passenger airship Hindenburg. Ooh, wow. So if that means in this timeline, the Hindenburg disaster never really happened. Nice. It's called the Hindenburg Incident. Critics have long questioned the wisdom of passenger airships given their spotty safety record. And with this incident with no deaths on board, it's bound to make them more vocal. So I guess it means the Hindenburg Incident landed safely in New Jersey after all. Hooray. Invitation from Ma Hong Kui. Sent a formal invitation to meet Xing Zhang to discuss current situation and future steps in the conflict against the communists. Refusing this, inv this invitation will be seen as a personal slight by Mao Zong and will, not, will no doubt be noticed by other warlords. Hmm. This will, don't go. This will upset the warlords and may decide to leave your faction. Refuse your and refuse your attempts to control them and will remember them this slight in the future. Hmm. Oh, 
All right. Ma Hong Kui proposes an alliance with the communists. After the Xi after the Xi'an meeting, hmm. Please do. Hmm. You should forge an alliance. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps he. Hmm. You know. Maybe to prevent Sh Chiang Kai-shek from being a horrible war leader, I'm gonna do this the good way. Perhaps he might be right. The Chinese United Front is formed. I mean, Chinese United Front formed, sorry. An alliance of desperation. Oh boy, these are a lot, so I'm gonna go for these. Oh! Oh, the King Hag clique joins the... Hmm. You're welcome. Whatever it sh we shall do. Hun Yunnan, you'll also join. Shenzi? The new Gangshi clique, whatever it we shall. And Shenzi? Um, okay, I'm not really sure about this because I know Menguquo with, with, with the Shenzi clique is like right in front of them and also my other puppet too, but I'm not really sure how I feel about this. But you know, maybe, but you know, maybe to, but maybe to also have Shang Zi have uh, warlords in his good graces, we'll go, we'll go along with it. Yeah. Yunnan joins, 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 joins. So let's see this new faction we already have now. Woo! This is one mighty fine looking faction. Under Chinese leadership. <laughs> and we'll make sure it stays that way. Oh, but I don't want any horse templates. They, those aren't really good for me. Let me make sure I build up more planes. Hmm. Close air support. Ah, P-40 heavy fighter. Let me make let me make sure I build build my submarines down south so I don't get have any problems. There we go. Oh, now I can build airports and other nice. I know this will also add more risk of the Japanese also using them, but if I but if I play my cards right and not and not botch things up, what's this? Ooh, now we're now we're gonna get ready, boys. The Chinese United Front is gonna be tested. Japan is justifying against us. So this means there ain't gonna be a war instigated by us, but by the enemy. So let's see how this war will go. The Nangia clique seeks to join. Whatever it we shall be. Yep. Now I can also be able to help expand the railway lines and supply lines throughout other parts of China. Nice. <laughs> Better make sure China modernizes. There we go. Ah, now we form an Air Force Department. Controlling trade in British Malaysia. Let's see, now we can play some aircrafts. I don't want interwar, but...
Scout planes, let's see. Oh, heavy fighter. Since this is more a local kind of war, I want to make sure that I also have every available kind of aircraft. Ugh, I really hate that sound. Army ref- Okay, Bureau of In Investigation and Statistics. We cannot allow traitors and spies to run around in our country while we are engaged in a war for future of our nation. For our nation. The methods employed by this new agency may seem unpleasant, but the work still needs to be done. Alright, so I guess that makes sense. Dispersed industry would be better. Oh man, the Yule Bars capitulated? That's sad. Now we know that Communist China is now in our, now in our factions, so... 10% chance of, def of detecting Communist cells within the states they occupy. Alright. Army reform. Corruption, incompetence, and cowardice are rife at every level of command in our army, so we need to solve this as a long-term process. The Kuomintang's party is 100%, party ideology non-aligned, party leader Chiang Kai-shek, popularity 100%, daily change none. Lift off a march. We're almost heading into that day, boys. Let's make it count. Well, seems like... I, since I can't mostly rely on my tanks, I have to mostly rely on my infantry nowadays. That's the only thing I'm doing. Letting them control more troops. I'm not doing any more abilities. <laughs> 49 We have a 49 good influence with 40 We have a 49 relationship with Japan, so that's good at least. But I am not going to let the Japanese have have a last how you say laugh. <laughs> France and Britain now is now to an alliance. Well, that's something. Let's see our 1930s, our early ship hole.
There we go. Let's see the ships now. There we go. The Japanese won't declare on won't declare war on us until the Japanese won't declare war on us until around July seventeenth. So I so I know I want to know how many soldiers I'm carrying. On. Amelia Earhart disappears. Famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the woman to complete solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared with her navigator Fred no N Noon Noonan near Howland Island in the middle of the Pacific. A loss for aviation. Too right. So I guess it means for the upcoming war, I better make sure I also... I better make sure I cut like around some... some sem I need to cut around semblance of trade, so I don't get too damaged badly. Because I know how to... Because I know how the Japanese are, they could... Ri this could risk me getting blockaded. Ah, here we go. And since it's more over land with the Soviet Union, that means the damage the damage I take from that will be lessened. How smart am I? Rubber. Yep. So now that means I mostly have to rely on land on land transport. I can't risk doing overseas because with the, with the U.S. or so like because with Japan, I could risk having my my ships block my coast. I already have my coast blockaded anyway, in a sense. So like like maybe up around this much, but I know Japan will be sneaky and try to do so around the South China Sea. Okay, let's okay, let's see here. J Japanese soldiers recently launched an attack on the strategic Marco Polo bridge just south of Beijing, but they were repelled by our brave soldiers. No doubt this is an orchestrated event aimed at placing blame on us and forcing us to surrender more territory. Just like the Mukden incident when the Japanese invaded Manchuria. How should we respond to this? Can't ill afford another war with Japan? The first Sino Japanese war was already like way long ago. But, oh man, many of us are many of us Chinese are pissed now. That's it. We have reached a breaking point right up to here. Reached a breaking point. All right, Japan. If you want to play the game, so be it. We'll make we'll make your sorry butt butt make sure you don't st stomp on our Chinese borders again. Or mainland China. All right, but let's see how other places are doing. Oh man, nationalist China going strong, and there's our boy Francisco Franco. But all right, all right, Japan. Now you asked for it. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished in inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located southwest of Beijing. China has rejected Japan's China has rejected Japan's demands for an apology and territorial concessions, claiming instead that the breaking point of Chinese aggression by Chinese people have been reached. Diplomats fear that the violation situation could result in a war at any time.
Dang right. Dang right. Congress passes Neutrality Act. The Nanjing Home Guard? Well, the Nanjing Home Guard can actually be able to help us around, so... Industrial Land Appropriation. Okay, time to get the okay, time to get them out. All right, now we're doing good. I just need to make sure I send it I have more planes in the air so that one I can be able to do everything good. Army reform, corruption, incompetence, and cowardice are rife. Oh, good, now I can, let's see, which fear is? Air doctrine, land doctrine... Since technically I'm going to be fighting mainly a land war with Ch land war with Japan for much of the time, it's good to actually make sure to see the, re the reasoning risk. Japan, now you just made the Chinese tiger angry. Hmm, Shenzi does a call to arms. Hmm. Let's see who I should carefully get involved in this war. Hmm. Ah, okay, so these are the only countries involved in this war, at least. Hmm, the Hunan clique. Connie's trying to lower. Oh, Alright, good. The heavy. Tr okay, so if I make the heavy clique part of a war. Let's see. The, Shush the Shushan clique? Mm hmm. The Feng clique? Invisible ink. Okay, this time I'm gonna have to make sure I get the Soviet Union to control to make sure I get controlled trade from them. I can't risk it. A one united China. Yep, our army experience is gaining from the exercise and and even Falkhausen too helping in. Ah, oh, god dang it. Might as well just lose that opera that oper that operative then because I don't have I can't even focus on this right now.
Okay, let's see. It's funny how I'm still holding on to Beijing. Hmm, I could send more soldiers up north. There we go. At least our Chinese at least our Chinese soldiers are holding the line. But I also have to be prepared because I also need to make sure I get... Yep. Unread convoy? I thought I already... I thought I already limited trade outside. Oh, I still have British Malaysia, no wonder. There we go. The majority trade is with the Soviet Union, so I better make this my best shot. Wait, what about rubber? Siam is more by ground, so I believe that could be the good case. Uh huh. What you gonna do now, Japan? You can't. You can't even get my convoys anymore. <laughs> our stability. Our. There we go. Let's add a lot more soldiers. Alright. Let's see. Oh, recruitment. Total effective, oh, or ineffective bureaucracy. Since much of my since much of my industry isn't really affected yet, resistance target in occupied territories. Yep, since our since the enemy bombing is okay, our enemy bombing us is going to be a problem. Build it. Better make sure to build an airport somewhere around here. The Hunan clique. Eastern China.
Japan we're declared war on the Shandong clique. Well, that's just great. That is just flipping great. Great, now the, ja great. Now the Japanese are already on our shore. Better make use of my tank divisions if I can. Oh, a oh, good. Now we're doing a slow push right into the sh right into the he right into the he east heavy clique. As long as I get more soldiers in there, I'll make I'll be able to make a fighting chance. My army reform is almost finished, now I just need to make sure I build up more planes. God dang it! Wei Hulong has been wounded. use this guy temporarily for the case being. Okay, gotta make sure I have all my airplanes. I, oh dang, I already have a surplus of military equipment already built. Okay, straight, ooh, B-17 Flying Fortress, nice. Good, army reform is already finished. The Wampoa Military Academy. Good, the Japanese are already focusing on this part of China, so I don't... While- oh dang, the East Heavy Clique is about to, like, go... Go in capitulation mode, nice. Better make sure I put more troops up here. There we go. Oh good, now I can deploy... No, I am not doing... I am not deploying Air Force, okay. Quick improvisations, inventive leadership, and flexible organization. I'm gonna need those. There we go. Now that those units selected, I can be able to focus more. War propaganda against Japan. 
basically it's like human wave after wave attack, but like with all everything I'm doing, it's basically like doing every it's like putting everything but the kitchen sink. Let's see, scout plane. Let's see. Oh, fighters. I'm gonna need lots and lots of fighters. Okay, the hunting clique can join in. Fine. I don't know how this is even working, but... It's already October 1937 and Japan hasn't even made any slight advances and it's far off into China. But as long as I keep the heat going, that's all that matters. We are at war. Okay. Can't believe the Shanzi clique is still over. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, send three units down. All right, now we're cooking. cooking. North and South China. Oh shoot. Should have invested in defenses, but but when you but when you invest into more troops, I mean you take what you can get. What's even more funny is the fact that the more Japanese soldiers even try to like spread themselves out, the more I have a chance. Like. Oh good, now I can sign another robber. An escape Let's see. Hmm. There we go, mass assault. Dang, the first Japanese puppet to fall down is East Heavy, and that is really something. <laughs> you can say that the Japanese line up north is being held strong. This one would be called the Northeast, the Northeast Theater. Okay, let's see fighters. I'm gonna need fighters, fighters, fighters. There we go. Since I have limited industry and all that. I have to build much of my industry now in the north, in the most northern, centralized on Alright, now that- okay, now that much of the land is centralized, now I can- now I can use that to my advantage. There we go, 33 divisions. Now attack! Oh, dang, I already fi- <laughs> Okay, let's see. Wow, instead of wow, instead of a Japanese going straight for a Nanjing, hashtag no 
no event that shall not be heard ever, will never be occurring. I can't believe I'm actually holding them off like this in such a crazy time. I have to make sure I use the timing to to keep to keep up wisely, otherwise I won't be able to have any more manpower left in me to help fight. Yep, the Chinese United Front is now in full swing, but we're already fighting in hmm. Wow, Japan is not really having having any good times. And I'm basically just decimating them like crazy, but now my, uh, yeah. Good. Now that... Dang, Mengu... Dang, now we're already infiltrating Mengu... Menguquo. I have to say, I'm actually surprised I'm even lasting this long. Italy announces claims on Yugoslav territory. Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial in, in province elections. Do votes really change anything? And why are they upsetting the fragile balance in the region? The Southeast The Southeast Fiat. All right. Technically, they're also part of the South Asia, but while this one is part of the mid, the central north, the central north theater. There we go. Now with better organization. Who's on who's on and wounded? Oh come on. Hmm. Hold on, since when did I get more commanders? to use the best of the best kind of leaders. But I'll have to use him as a go-getter for the time being. Oh, oh wow, the pushback against Mengukuo was enormous. And I'm already pushing back the Chinese and I'm already pushing back the Japanese really good in the southwest I mean southeastern part of the country. Who knew, who knew preparating really good was a good idea? Well, seems like nationalist Spain won the civil war after all. After all, I mean, it's always destined to anyway. Like, lol. Seems like my seems like my area part of China is already safe as it is. All right, all right. You know what? I choose closer ties with Germany. Army department. Am I 
my troop, man, my troops are going at it like crazy. Like, they know what's up. And it's, and like, the air battle over China is like changing hands, specifically. Fighters. Oh, this is a heavy fighter, that means... Interception. So that means while some of my aircrafts are too hard for the Japanese to reach, I can still be able to actually hold on to some semblance of... Command. Wow, in Beijing this whole time hasn't even been, like, taken, taken out, like, I'm actually surprised. Well, I'm already out of manpower, but hey, the war support is really going on. Mobilization speed, command, command power gain, even our stability is 60%. The ruling party's popularity with the war is 15%, we're at war, which is actually 10%, which helps even better. Hmm. Wang Shu- Ooh, finally, now I can get Wang Shu Ming. Wang Shu Ming. Ground support. Mm-hmm. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Dang it, our ships... Dang it, our ships were sunk. I do pardon for like the whoa. I like I said I do pardon for the interruption with the vo with like the over voice, but yeah. But holy, holy heck! But holy heck! I didn't expect Menguko to actually fall. Seems like that's the actual first Japanese domino to fall into Chinese hands. Seems like China will be able to win the Second Sino-Japanese War after all. I'll be in quicker succession. Hmm. Better have some dedicated soldiers around here. Seven selected, so they'll go here. The rest will go over there. Now we focus on Qing China under under Henry Puyi. Well, technically, I I seen Gor Gor Giorio Puyi. I don't know how it's spelled, but trust me. Come 
commando training. We have 30 factories, but at least that's something. Dang. Oh, <laughs> the Japanese are still going strong and they're just not giving up. Oh. Like I said, I do apologize. I accidentally kept the, front, the door open when I thought I had peace and quiet. I do apologize for that if you may have heard any background sounds or conversations. Holy shoot! <laughs> I so. Seems like, oh, good. The, the, the Ning Zia clique wants to send one division. It's kind of funny. I can tell that the Japanese aren't even sending any troops my way to the central northern region or central region. Like, it's like as if, nah, I'm not even gonna bother anyway. But the southwestern region looks like a good spot. At least what I'm thinking with Japan. That's how I saw it. What's even more funny is the fact I only have five major armies. Like, that's all I just need. I don't need, like, multiple... multiple armies. Just, like, five of them and that's it. Like... Dang, the Japanese are isolated around here. I don't know why, but it sounds so funny. Oh, dang, our war support got up 99%. I swear, it's like the Japanese just won't give up easily, and I can tell. Hmm. Let's, inv let's invite some fighters up north, and let's see how they'll handle it. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have enough. Oh well, I guess I, I better make do with what I have. The Anschluss of Austria, if that's what they wish. Actually, send them right here, close air support. Close air support here as well. <laughs> and no, there is no army cheat involved. Like, they're not going fast at a rapid pace. Let's see, which one should I choose? Mass mobilization? There we go. Diplomatic training. Nineteen thirty
ever since the war started, my army, my troops have been crazy. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, now we're gonna do closer ties with Germany. We shall purchase tanks. Well, technically, let's do a physical policy. Actually, nah. Let's do nationalism. And our war support is already 100%, as long as we don't lose the dang capital. Nationalist victory in the Civil War. I'm still keeping my central coast coast intact because I don't want the Chinese, the Japanese, to even try anything. But but as long as south, but as long as the southeastern region is contained, that's fine. And well, my friends, this is where I'm going to be stopping the video for now. And as, and as you can see with the factional, faction map mode, the Chinese United Front has basically showed Japan who's boss in this scenario. So that means only Northern China and Southwest China theaters are the only fighting theaters. And that means Japan never really got to go deeper into China than it would have, like in our timeline. So... Stay around for the next third episode on how things will turn out. Anyway, I hope you ladies and gents like this video. Sh like, share, subscribe, share with friends, and I'll see you ladies and gents next time.